Hi, second grade. Today I'm going to talk about the entry task for the month of October. You will need your roll cards. These are great. You, they should already be established from the previous entry task if you did last month. If not, these are worth taking a look at and really help with collaboration with the younger kids. We also have command cards. These command cards help to show kids which direction it's going. It's very useful for the navigator job. Some teachers have printed them out smaller, and so they're actually laying down the cards before they code the B-Bot, <laughs> which is very neat and very hands-on. So that's a great tip. Thanks for those teachers who shared that with us. I also want to point out that um, we have a sheet that's taken directly from your Bridges curriculum. It is from Unit 1, Module 4, Session 2, and there's story problems with addition. And so what students are going to be doing is they're going to be finding the sum and then coding their BBOT to land on the sum based off of the story problem. So you have number cards. They are 1 through 20, and you can fill them out. You can use some of them. I've chosen to just use a few. And so you'll, the students will slip those into the mat and make sure that the open side is down so the BeeBot can run smoother on the mat. And then also, you are going to clear any previous codes on your BeeBot. And then I recommend starting your BeeBot in a spot that does not have a number. And then as a teacher, you will read out the story problem. So the first one is, Dan caught seven fish in the morning and six fish in the afternoon. How many fish did Dan catch in all? Students can work in their group to figure out what seven plus six is. They can write it in a journal or you can have them do it on whiteboards it's completely up to you once they solve the problem and they know the answer is 13 they will find 13 on their board and then code their bbot to get there so i know that my bbot needs to move forward 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 it needs to turn and then move forward again and then forward again and hopefully i did it correctly if i did not I will know immediately if my code was wrong and it's immediate feedback which is great for students and also is helping them practice their addition fluency and there you go happy coding